Quarantining works because it decreases the chances of interacting with the infectious virus. Increasing the distance between uh, people who are infected from uninfected people, that reduces the risk of, and the rate of transmission, which buys time to slow down the spread of the virus. 14 days is pretty conservative length of time. Uh, probably the virus, uh, if you're infected, is visible by about six days. But 14 days, you'll know whether you've got the virus from symptoms. So it, it's erring on the side of caution, and 14 days is, is um, in isolation. Slowing the spread of the virus is crucial, really, for our healthcare system to keep up with the people who are infected. We want to have as few of those people coming through the system as possible, so we've got the best of care available for people. And also buys us time to actually develop uh, strategies to treat people who are sick with drugs, particularly antiviral drugs that might be in development, and also other strategies to, to really prevent new people from becoming infected. Slowing transmission uh, by increasing social isolation is a very effective strategy, as has been demonstrated in China. Just uh, the quarantining can work, but it's painful for the way we live our lives. You know, we're going to have to make big sacrifices. If this does turn into something that's an uncontrolled, uh, unmitigated spread of an infection, it's going to be extremely challenging for our healthcare system, which is not designed to you know, cope with this many people falling sick at the same time. It's going to present major challenges unless we can really slow down that transmission rate. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.